no, no, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. You're not real. You're not real. You're not real! You're not real! Get away from me, Phantom! Shoot! Scram! You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Clearly I mistook you for one of the Phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh. Now, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out.
Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but... I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. 
Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order.
everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the Vale bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the Earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty, enough for a generation's worth of crops.
What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again? Any luck finding one of those manuals? I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. You know where to find me. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. The matter's been weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. I'll tell you what I can. What is it? Adelaide's okay. 